Well, we got to tore down some more. And Connor's putting a bracket on the side here to hold the motor up. I might do a bracket on the other side too. Yeah, why, well, you nervous? It's pretty heavy. It's got a cantilever that motor. Maybe I ought to have something underneath it too. So mm -hmm. it poke right through the concrete. Oh, it ain't gonna do that. You think? Yeah, I think it's possible. I think it's possible. You're more likely to poke through the concrete. I'm more likely to poke through the concrete. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, that's funny. Okay, well, our next step is to take this front end off. Got to take these four, there's two bolts on each side. Pull off the front section. And then we're going to yank the motor out. But i going to monkey around with this here. This is going to be a pain in the neck. I got the roll pin out, but that doesn't seem to be very loose on the shaft, which is a good thing, but it's also a bad thing if I got to take it apart. So. And then it comes apart up there at that joint. Connor's already got this bolt out, and this should slide out of here pretty easy. Hadn't taken that long. No, what, we've been on it for about an hour and a half. 335. Three, yeah, two hours. So we dragged it back here because it was sitting over there. <laughs> that took the most time. Took the most Just time getting it over the here. place up and come along to get it back here. We couldn't push it. No, we couldn't push it. It's a monstrosity. Its tires are soft and hard and dry and rotten and full of calcium. I'm looking for tires. Anybody wants, let's find me some tires. That'd be cool. 18434s. All right, we did a lot, didn't we, Con? Yeah. Tore a lot apart. We got the steering thing off. We had to heat that knuckle to get it off there. Ooh, those bolts come out easy. They weren't even that tight. There it goes. Wouldn't it be funny if we dropped the whole tractor? Well, our feet would hurt. I don't know. I'll have them under there. My bolt's almost out. Mine too. Back case. I think the tractor Back up. would have broke by now. Yeah. I'm out. A little bit. Gosh, there we go. I'm out. So there it is. It's uh, brakes are locked. Brakes are locked and it's standing on one pole. As long yeah, as they can't roll, it ain't gonna go nowhere. Pretty work. heavy duty pole here. Yeah. But it's still holding it. Oh, because it's rolling up into the pulley. You gotta take the weight off. We gotta roll it. There you go. You got it now. All right, front end's dangling on the engine hoist. Where are you going to go with it? I don't think that's more than a thousand pounds. No. But I've been wrong before. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that does happen. All right, where are we going to go with it? Just lay it there? <laughs> yep. Good job. So, just slowly let her down. You ready? Yep, slowly. Mm -hmm. I was afraid of this happening. See what's happening? Hey, okay, case your washer tabs. Mm -hmm. I knew you'd like my idea. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, Connor's been busy. Check it out. He put the motor, pulled the motor out the other day. <laughs> there wasn't much to do. No, so Very easy. it really it just unbolted around the bell housing and it slides right out. There's the flywheel. It just notches in. I mean, it couldn't be easier than that. Yeah, it's pretty cool. It's got these big notches right here. They mesh with these gears right here. And, yep. And it goes. This is all fluid. It's all got oil in it. So the starter's actually special too because it's got a seal in it. Cause I don't know if any other starters do. It's a gasket, I think. And then the starter itself has got a seal. And it's got a seal. So it doesn't leak through the starter motor. But, tell you what, the new motors, the 870 motor, the, the 336 is a heavier duty engine. These are the caps on the, on the 301. 
and then if you look at the caps over on that engine, they they are flat across. They're, oh yeah. They're beefed up. They are beefed up. Yep. Yep. There's quite a difference in these two motors. Yeah, there is. Other than a few cubic inches. But the cranks are supposed to be the same, but you said the flywheel bolts are different. Yeah, they are. So uh, this flywheel is tapped to a what, like one size larger. Huh. Bigger bolt yeah. holes. Yeah, you can see the difference there. Very little difference, but it but is it's there. Yeah, it's, it's like one size. Flywheel holes are the same. See, these use a where are they? So does that I mean marked them? The bigger see bolt that shank. Oh yeah. That shank's the same as this regular bolt here that came off the dozer. So these are like an alignment dowel. You know, but these will fit. Here's the bolt we need to use. Here's the flywheel we need to use. It is tight in there. It's as, okay. tight, it's as tight as the dowel will fit. But what I might do is get two bolts like this that have a that have a shank, a, a shank to them, a neck, so that they're. I don't think we treads. need to. I don't think you'll find them either. <laughs> you always say stuff like that. I do. You never know what you might find at the hardware store. Uh, you're using grade eights. They're grade eights. Yeah. I think we gotta go to fast and all. Anyways, we do. We do have bolts that look like they'll work well. Uh, I think we gotta take the washers off though. Because height wise, height wise, that's, oh, the yeah. height, that's the height we want to reach. Yeah. And they nest into this pocket in the torque converter. Oh, that's awesome. Right there. Twin disc clutch. Wait a minute. I think that's the company. I only had a single disc. I think that's the comp name of the company that developed that for the for case. Oh, no kidding. That's cool. I think. I'm not positive on that. And then there is, I don't know if you can see it, there is also a huge O ring. Oh yeah, the so huge that, O ring. Yep, so that flywheel meshes in there, and then there's also, it's also sealed, which honestly, I don't know why, because it also has got holes drilled there. It's like, what are they sealing it for? What are they, what are they sealing? What are they sealing it for? So, I don't know if they just have that O ring there as a cushion, because it's probably taken, a little bit of suspension against those gears or, or what? No idea. Kind of like an alignment O-ring. It's kind of weird. It might take up a little bit of a room to, to help that stuff. Well, so, there's nothing here to get activated. Like it's no. not like a drum for no. a clutch or a, I'm, you know what I'm talking about, a servo. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's not like that. It's not like this part moves at all. Nothing no. moves. No, that's uh, all the actuating stuff's behind this plate. Well, I'm glad it's like this so we didn't have to do something crazy like pull that Casomatic apart. I didn't want to do that. Now the other major thing with this with this whole setup is if your rear main seal leaks, you are it's contaminating the fluid for the casomatic. Right. It's going to dump motor oil in so a casomatic house. You want to make sure you tube. you change your seal and put a nice one in there. Which we're getting. Which that's what. How's that seal look? It looks pretty good. <laughs> it's not even hard. <laughs> might not be worth changing. It might be just putting this one back. Just put on. it back on. This is the one that was off the 830 engine. Oh. I have a feeling somebody had been in there before. Oh, maybe so. At some point. So. How many years? How old is this? You know, we don't want to do math again, do we? I can't math. We keep doing math for the age of tractors. And no. <laughs> 64, yep. two years younger than me. Things are clean. It's 57 so years we're old. Getting, we're getting ready to put it back together. We're just waiting on Wait gaskets. On gaskets. Right, waiting on gaskets. I ordered up this gasket. I was thinking, oh, man, I'll just do the most excellent pookie job ever. Mm-hmm. But then I thought again. No, well, it does make gasket. I mean, yeah. But I'm getting this gasket, and I'm getting uh, another set of gaskets for, like the starter for the 730. I'm also getting a starter gasket, so all that stuff will be gasketed the way it ought to be. I ordered a gasket for this casematic for a casematic tractor. All right, that makes so sense. It's going to give me a new front timing. Now there's gasket. nothing screwy on the back of that block over there that's going to horse us, is there? No. I'm not seeing anything screwy. Where fluid comes out and causes us an issue? No, not that I'm seeing. We got a freeze plug, we got the cam plug, we got an oil passage plug. All that stuff looks good and not leaky. And then we'll see if our poor man crank polisher, cheating the machinist, worked. Well, the plastic man, gauge. We're gambling, aren't we? Plastic gauge is telling us it worked. This is like the one out of a thousand scenario where where spun, that would work spun bearing yeah didn't actually kill us so really great engine especially getting it for the price we did because mm -hmm. it was blown up yeah it's in good shape yeah other than other than being what's blown up. what stopped it yeah <laughs> all right so we're going to save all these spare parts we're trying to get the cam out now we can't figure out how to get the torque uh the the tachometer drive out which is a little yeah, bit of a puzzle. I'm not finding it in the book either, but that I keep trying to 
I've been tugging on this cam for like a half hour and it keeps hitting that that brass tack drive there. Yep. Maybe it all comes out through the top, Con. Well, the only other thing I was thinking was that they somehow put the cam in, but they don't watch this. You can't get the cam out without getting that out. <laughs> That's bad. And it doesn't tell you how to take this out in the book. Why don't you come over here? I'll lift on the cam. Let me get some gloves on. And then we'll have this light on it, and then you can tape it and see if I'm wrong. It's kind of hard to do by yourself. All right, do it quick, because I'm down to 1% battery. You can get by it. There we go. No, That's you can't. You're hitting down there. I'm You're hitting, hitting that right? bearing. Yeah. No. So that tack drive gear's got to come out. We got to figure that one out. Which, you know, that'd be nice to figure out, anyways. All right. That's what we're gonna work on now, then, I guess. Okay, guys. I lost the sound on my GoPro camera. Probably had my thumb over the over the uh, microphone. Anyway, we're taking out the. Distributor drive that gets turned out with an Allen screw, and that's below the plug on the side of the block, right next to the tack drive. So I kind of figured out he took the plug out, then he took that screw out, and now he's wiggling. He's going to get this big plug out. It's like a big metal plug that's there, and that keeps the tack drive from coming out. So once you get that out. Here he's going to show you, he puts the screw back in just for safekeeping for now. He's got it back in there. And then he's going to take a, now he's got a brass pipe and he's going to gently drive that tack drive forward and out of the block. And here it is, he's got it out of the block. So now we'll be able to pull the cam out and that's uh, what we did. We took the cam out because we wanted to get, we just got rid of the block. And we're just going to scrap it, but we wanted to save the cam, the lifters and all the other assorted pieces. It was a little tricky. He had to wiggle it around a little bit. But for the most part, he just pulled it up and it pretty much just came out. Um, it's just a matter of uh, getting all the, the cam bearings, you know, and the cam, um, where the cam bearings ride to come up through and out. Yeah, just that easy. And this is one of the cam followers. We uh, lined them up with their original location on the, each cam lobe. And that's how we're going to store it so that, uh, you know, if we ever put it back in a motor someday, if that does ever happen, we will, uh, they will be matched to the original cam load they came from. Probably with the low spring pressures that these things have, I don't even know if it would make that much of a difference as far as wearing out the cam in a low, but better safe than sorry. All right. One of the things we're missing on this block that we have on the original block is being this is a... Uh, they entirely changed the whole steering scenario the 870 series tractors have a 100 percent hydraulic steering these have hydraulic assist so we have a steering shaft that goes through here and it goes through this this carrier and then it shoots down it goes through this hole in the block this does not have that hole so it looks like i gotta get the hole saws out first i gotta do some accurate measuring get it in the same place hole saw real slow just keep Sawing and sawing. It's gonna take an hour. Ah, we don't have a choice. Oh, I made a little template out of cardboard. And then I got a hole there. When I look, that lines up where my hole's gotta be for the uh, steering shaft. Uh, I have a assistant from the audience who's going to attempt <laughs> drilling this. <laughs> so nobody gets sawed in half. Through cardboard. We would center punch it, but I can't find a center punch. Looks like you're off to the... You wanna, yep, that's it. I had one the other day. And it looks like you're going up straight, so you just want to go in there straight, get her started. Yeah, nice. Oh, look at it. Blowing right in there. I ain't going to take that much the whole saw. Looks like Fair you're going not. perfectly straight that way. I'm a little surprised. You're not going to be going into the jack. I don't, I don't think that's going to... Oh, maybe it'll work. So you came right quick. through there. Boy, that drilled fast. Sure did. So the hole is right there. It's kind of close to that web. That's close. I know. Is it that close on that one? I don't think it is. Oh, yeah, that's pretty close. Is it? I mean, just maybe a quarter right inch. Right there. Yeah. Okay. I'll probably move it out. I'll move that hole out a little bit. I can't finish it today anyway, but at least it gets me positioned. I left my hole saws at the barbecue, so I'll have to do this another day, but at least it gets us started. Wow, that's something to watch out for. That's pretty close. 
Of course, we'll spray this whole thing down with a little bit of brake clean before we get assembling again. Yeah. We'll be all right. We won't get that stuff in there. Picture it being in the center of that spot. Yeah, I think we're pretty close. It's about right. Just get a hole saw that's that size, and then we could we can die grind in the rest of the... Yeah. This hole's not perfectly round. It's got a little bit of an oval to it. So yeah. the steering shaft's just got to get through there and, and work. <laughs> okay. Yeah, thanks for watching the video. I'll see you on the next one. Hit that subscribe button. Thanks, guys. Bye.